In the last video, we created slicers and linked them to our pivot tables. Now, we're going to customize those slicers to match the look and feel of our dashboard. So let's get started by setting the number of columns on our slicers. So we want this to be three rows by two columns. Let's click on the slicer, go over to columns, select two. Now we can resize the box and make it a little smaller. Then we can increase the height of the individual boxes by going over to Slicer Options, Buttons, and changing the height. Next, let's rename the slicer by going to Slicer Settings, and then under the header, changing the name to just say Country. Click OK. So now we've got a properly titled and proportioned slicer. Now let's do the same for the product category slicer. Now let's style our slicer. Click on the slicer. Under Slicer Styles, we'll click New Slicer Style. Let's go ahead and title it Sales Dashboard. For our whole slicer element, let's format that to have a fill the same gray as the background, current background. Let's click OK. We can see our preview, start, it's taking shape over here. Let's also make all the text white. We go into font, and color, white, and bold. Click OK. We can see the changes here. For a selected item with data, we'll format it with a light gray fill. And around all of our buttons, we're going to place a border, a black border. Click OK. Looks like we'll also need black text on this. Font, color, black. That looks better. Or selected item with no data, we'll have the same background color, the same border, but the black outline. But for the font, we'll make it a lot more subtle by making it just a hair darker and italic. Click OK. Next, for unselected item with data, we'll make the fill slightly lighter gray and add the border as usual. For unselected item with no data, we'll have the out full border outline. Our fill will make that same light dark gray, and our font will make italic and just a little bit darker gray so that it blends in. To indicate it's not select or it's not uh, selectable. Now for our hovered items, which is when our mouse hovers over them, we'll change the font color to black and the border, of course, and the fill to white. And we'll do the same for the rest of the hovered. Now let's click OK. Select the slicer and choose our new style. You can see our hovers work as well as all those colors we just picked. We can apply that same style to these by clicking on them and clicking apply the slicer style. So now we have formatted slicers to match our dashboard. In the next video, we'll add a timeline to customize the time frame we display on our dashboard.